Hey there, this is Josh from HBSAonline.com. Just made this quick video for you showing you how quickly you can get an autoresponder up onto your website. It's a pretty easy process, pretty simple process. Some of that will be influenced depending on what autoresponder you use. We like Aweber a lot. I'm going to show you how quickly you can do it with Aweber. Uh, we actually primarily use Aweber because of email deliverability. We kind of found out that's the most important thing whenever you're doing email marketing is making sure the email actually ends up in the person's inbox and we've had a lot of good luck with Aweber. There's other ones out there like Get Response, Constant Contact, Eye Contact, Infusionsoft, Lyris, and a lot more, but we like Aweber the best for automated autoresponder follow-up. So here's how you get a form onto your site. If you go up here, you'll see that you have the navigation for Aweber here. You got my list, messages, subscribers, web forms, all that. Just click on web forms. Now whenever you create a web form, you're basically creating the opt-in autoresponder form that's going to go on your page. People will see it, they'll opt in there. So we just click on create new web form. With Aweber, they give you a lot of different templates to follow and you can, if you have a template, then you can upload it and use that. But uh, we just a lot of times use theirs or we strip them down. You can control that by taking off different things like this or if you don't like anything you can just click the X to exit it out but uh, let's go ahead and we will get a a nice template going on here I'm gonna pick this one here I like this one subscribe to my blog we use a lot of blog stuff so let's see and you get to pick the different colors I'm going to go with that one subscribe to my blog We'll just load that template here. Now, that's the first thing is to pick sort of an outline. The second thing is your fields. The fields are what people actually fill in here. Name, email, telephone, address, whatever. Those are all fields. So we like to capture name, email, telephone number as well. So you can control it and edit it. And actually, I recommend you do it so that it actually appears in the box like this and not up there. So I'm going to make it remove the text when they click it and then also going to make it required so that they have to fill it in there and I'm going to delete that top one there so that there it is and then they would click it and that's how that would work so I'm going to do the same thing here and you can edit it so that it's like primary email and I'm going to make the remove it whenever it's clicked and also I'm going to get rid of that top one and then for their name, I'm going to put full name. And I'm going to have them remove the text whenever they click it. Click OK. And then I'm also going to delete that. All right, so there. It's nice and clean. I'm also going to delete their link. Get out of here. Um, I don't have a footer really, so we can get rid of that. Then I'm going to edit that submit button. I don't like the word submit. I mean, who likes submitting to anyone? So I'm going to put in here, um, get free instant access. There we go. That looks nicer. So now I got my field the way that I want it, and all that's customizable. You can add fields, subtract fields, whatever you do. It's really easy. You just, like, say we wanted to uh, collect address here. We can put all that information in, and if we don't like it, we just click X and it's gone. So then we go to step number two. These are the settings. Then you title it. I'll just put blog web form. Then your thank you page. After they opt in, where do you want them to go? This allows you to either use their page, a basic thank you page that says thank you for opting in, or if you have a page on your website you want to redirect them to, you can do that or you can just stay on the current page. If they subscribe, they don't even get a thank you page. You have the ability to do that. Then you can preview it right here. You can have it open up in a new window or just go on to the next page. We just have it go on to the next page most of the time. Also, if they are already subscribed, then what page do you want them to see? You can control that too. If you have a specific page you want to send them to or if you just want them to get their basic page, you can do that. And then there's advanced settings as well for ad tracking and then which message that you actually start them on. So we're going to leave that all the same. We'll save the web form here. And then they give you a couple of different options. You can have um, either you install the web form, which is super easy. Your web designer can install it if you're not into that sort of thing. Or you can have Aweber host your form. So 
I don't really recommend that one just because you kind of want to have full control over your web forms. We always usually install it ourselves. You get two different types. First is a JavaScript snippet. If you just copy this code right here and paste that onto your website and the HTML in it, then you're going to be able to, you're going to have that opt-in form there. It's that easy. We've spent like two minutes doing this, right? Uh, if you are wanting to create something more customized then you can get the raw HTML and you can manipulate this however you need and there's some trick stuff you can do with that um, but the basic form works pretty well so that's it that's as complicated as it gets to go from nothing to having an autoresponder on your website now the reason you want to do that is because if you have web visitors and they're not leaving any contact information that's real money that's uh, you want to be able to follow up with people very few individuals will make a buying decision or gonna make a commercial decision on the first visit to your website so an autoresponder allows you to follow up with those individuals give them valuable content build trust build a good relationship with them so that you do do business in the future and that you can be a resource for them in the future too that's the that's the power of follow-up and as good as we all like to think we are at follow-up the fact of the matter is we're human and we make mistakes and that's why automated follow-up in our opinion really makes a lot of sense it really helps us in our businesses you know especially if you're generating you know 50 or 100 or 300 or 500 or you know any substantial number of leads I mean if you're generating over 20 leads a day that kind of, those are kind of hard to follow up with all on your own much less if you're generating a thousand leads a day so automated follow-up especially as you scale your business up just makes a lot of sense and Aweber I think is like you know 19 bucks a month so that in our opinion just makes it totally worth it it's kind of a no-brainer investment so if you have any questions just post them down below I'll be happy to go through them with you like I said I've used a lot of different autoresponders and I'll be happy to give you uh, whatever expertise I have on any questions that you may have as well thanks for watching have a great day